Hey everybody, welcome back to the next tutorial in a layer mask series. Today we're going to go over a layer mask that is pretty well known already, and I've gone over it before. So we're going to use our line art layer this time, and we're going to turn off the color layer. I'm going to right click on the line art, go to add in colorize mask. So this is exactly like the colorize mask tool that we use, so we can put colors wherever we want here. This is going to be a crazy mess, but that's fine. Alright, so we have nothing in the tool options here and nothing's really happening here, right? So if we go to the colorize mask tool, this is where we can update this. I'm going to quickly slap a color down for transparency purposes, then hit update. Okay, so that took a little longer than I expected. I don't know why. So I'm going to turn off edit keystrokes. So just like the, the actual tool, which is right here, you're just filling in the color that it takes um, the masking information from your line art layer and it just fills it in automatically for you. There's nothing unique about this filter mask other than you can add it uh, via the layer docker and not just um, activating it with the color mask tool itself. So let's say you're prepping um, a bunch of line art in an illustration and you just want to slap the, that colorized mask layer down. You can quickly do that and then come back to adding the color layer without having to activate the tool. It kind of like is a note, like a note to your future self like, hey, this needs this color or this needs to be colored in. This is set up um, for that next step. So the colorized mask filter layer is basically the same layer that you use with the colorize mask tool. I'm not going to go over too much else with this. Um, I do have a separate video that goes over all the details to the docker for the tool options that you can use. Um, you don't need to convert this to a paint layer if you don't want to. If you want to keep it um, free flowing and editable, you can just leave it as it is. So you can always have the keystrokes there. You can always have the output to show or not limit it to layer bounds or not. All that good stuff is in a separate video. But yeah, and then if you do decide to, do, to finish it, you can just convert that to a paint layer and it will be its own separate, unique, editable layer. And that is, this is a very short video because this was a very simple tool. Um, it is nice to have a, another option to add it. Like I said, if you're just trying to get next steps prepped and save yourself time later yeah all right so that's it for this tutorial hopefully you know what that is now and it's not like a mystery if you have any questions as always leave them in the comments down below and i will do my best to answer them